Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Zegtech2995 here, and uh, today I'm going to be playing a new series called Blueberry Nova. Y'all thought I was going to be playing Gods of War, huh? Well, guess what? I'm not! So, stick that, I guess. I don't know. Look, that doesn't mean I'm not going to play, because God of War came out on Friday, and I'll probably play it eventually, but I've got priorities. <laughs> <laughs> as strange as they may be, I do have uh, priorities. So I'm playing. I went on Steam because at this point, man, I fucking hate my Elgato. Like it's just, it it keeps messing my shit up, man. And I was really enjoying playing Far Cry 5, but my Elgato said, "Nah, you good." And it pretty much just fucked my shit up. Uh, there was like a lot of audio skips and stuff, so I just pretty much just said fuck it I'm just it. I'm just gonna play shit on Steam for now So I went over to the anime section of Steam, and I, w I was gonna play this game called Dimensions of Monster Girls But this game stuck out because it's got Yuri not not Yuri from Doki Doki Ledger Club But like Yuri as in you know two girls hooking up so Lesbians pretty much, uh, but actually no, it's not well. Yeah, it kind of is lesbians. I guess uh, If you guys have ever seen the anime citrus, it's kind of like that Except it's not stepsisters. I, th I don't know. I didn't really read too much about the game But I like the art style uh, The chicks were pretty cute from what I saw so yeah, that was enough to pretty much uh, hook me That's pretty much it just cute anime girls, and I don't know, if one of them loses their damn minds, that will be another thing that I'm into. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's do this shit! Oh no, I gotta read this, okay. This is kinda like Doki Doki Literature Club then. Ugh. Finally, I can breathe freely. Moving to my own apartment was not as easy as I imagined it. But now when all the boxes are unpacked and things are spread out in their places, I can calmly relax. Although it was still mid-June, the weather on the street was hot, so I decided to explore the neighborhood. I knew that not far from my apartment there was a park, which I visited as a child with my mother. I decided to go there. The trees in the park have since ceased to seem so huge, but they still... What the hell is that word? Occluded? Okay, whatever. Occluded rays of the scorching June sun, which made the air in the park quite fresh. Since literally 10 minutes ago, I still raked boxes with stuff. Wait, is that... Raked boxes okay whatever I need to rest I sat down in the shade on a free bench wait what do you mean a free bench uh, never mind whatever never mind <laughs> there was many people in the park that's not surprising because it's a day off the mood and atmosphere were almost heavenly everywhere only one person did not fit into the picture <laughs> me cuz I'm goth and it's the middle of June and I'm wearing all black there was the girl about my age sitting on the next bench. She was very beautiful, but she looked very depressed. Go to the girl? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I was interested. Maybe I can help her somehow. Hi, can I sit next to you? Oh wait, can I sit with you? Pfft, oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is just like Doki Doki Literature Club, man. Me sucking at reading. But hopefully I give y'all some sort of entertainment from this. That's all I care about. She turned and looked at me. I could clearly see the tears on her face. She looked very sad. Oh no. Uh, yes. At that moment, surprise appeared on her face, along with bitterness. Take it, dry your tears. I handed her a hanky from which she did not refuse. I really got an achievement from that? Oh, okay. Uh, tell me, can I help you? For a few more seconds, she wiped away her tears, but then rose abruptly off the bench and fled away. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I did it for nothing. Damn it! 
For some time, I sat on the on this bench. My mood not so good anymore. I'll go home. I love how they didn't capitalize I and I'll. <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> when I got home, I did. A... Oh, okay. Sorry, my Twitter. Uh, when I got home, I did a couple more things and started cooking. Today, I was very tired, so I decided to go to bed early. What, what, you, what the hell? What is going on here? I was in a strange room. The light almost didn't enter inside, and I hardly realized that I was not alone here. Oh no! Monica's back! I'm so lonely, Aika. Who are you? Recently, I came to think that this world wants to get rid of me. Oh my god, it's Monica! She's an alter ego! It's Monica! I do not like this world. Everything around me began to shake. I seemed to be tied up and I couldn't move. <laughs> Life lesson, y'all. Don't ever talk to strangers. I woke up afraid and lit a lamp. What a dream. Soon I calmed down and began to fall asleep again. What the hell? Oh my god. Why? Why do I do this to myself, y'all? Hold on, I need a drink after that. I need a drink. Alright. Strange memories about the dream were spinning in my head. Looking at my watch, I realized that I could be late for college, so I didn't have time to think about what I saw. After a quick breakfast, I got ready to go... Wait, I got ready and left for college. Oh, alright, so we're in college. Sweet. So this is really unrealistic for me, because I only went to college for, like, two days to do a video editing class. So yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> Uh, a little, a little, little Zach fact sprinkled in there. Zach attack fact. There we go. <clears throat> the road to college was known to me as my mother and I had visited these places before. Although it was still morning, but the sun was already hot above Shizuka. Oh my god. Shizuka, I guess. In less than 15 minutes, I was near the college building. The building I saw almost did not differ from where I studied before. As soon as I entered the campus, I immediately noticed the flower beds that were everywhere. They were beautiful and well-groomed. Apparently, they were cared for by the students. Inside the building also wasn't very different from the one in which I had studied before, except that I could see recent repairs. In general, I didn't see anything special. Once I got to the right classroom, I already became acquainted with some of my schoolmates. It seems that people here are friendly. Welcome our new student. My name is Akia Kenshinawa. From this day on, I will study with you. I am sure that we will get along very well. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> oh my god, you, are, you always have that one douchebag in class, man, where like, when you try to introduce yourself, uh, it's just like that one scene, that, that very famous scene with, uh, that one comedian where he says, where he's like, HA! GAY! <laughs> you always have that one person. After the solemn greeting, I looked around the classroom. Behind the last desk of the third row sat the girl I saw in the park. Oh my god, she followed me! She followed me! And although nothing much happened, I was still pleasantly surprised. I decided to get to know her better, but my desire was interrupted by a bell. Oof. It's already been two periods now. It's lunchtime. A lunch will definitely not hurt me. You know, n not unless your food grows just like uh, Clay with a chance of meatballs. I love that movie. At each chance, people approached me and got acquainted, which made me a little tired. Ah, oh, so we're popular now. Sweet. Getting my bento, I looked around at all the students deciding with whom I want to sit. My eyes fell on the girl I met in the park. We're, we're, we're not gonna... We're not gonna fix this eye. We're not gonna make it capitalize. Okay, alright, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's your game. 
At last, I got to know all my other classmates, which seemed eager about knowing me better. She was the only one I had not met before, except for at the park, remember? She seemed to shy away from me. What is the reason for her behavior? So wait, you literally don't remember that night? Okay, okay, alright, whatever. Can I sit down with her? Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> my choice fell on her. Hello, is it free here? Ha ha ha. Uh, oh, sure. Today she looked more confident, it seems. She also recognized me. S sorry for yesterday. By the way, my name is Eva. It's alright, everyone has bad days. My name is Aika. A beautiful smile appeared on her face. The smile on your face looks more pleasant than tears. Instead, the girl was embarrassed by these words. God damn it! Man, we ruined everything. We ruined everything, man. Th thank you. After examining her closely, I began to feel that we had already known each other before. Did we know each other before? She took a pause and looked at me in surprise. I do not think that is possible. It was rather strange, but I decided not to attach much importance to this. I glanced at the bento she brought, in which were untouched fresh cucumbers. Cucumbers! Ugh! Blah! I hate vegetables. Uh, I'm more of a fruit guy all the way. I fucking hate vegetables. Ex unless it's corn on the cob and mashed potatoes. <laughs> which I'm sure don't count, but whatever. Oh, god damn it. I accidentally... whatever. Alright, I, I accidentally clicked something. Not having come up with anything better, I grabbed the cucumber from her plate and put it in my mouth. Her reaction pleased me. Eva laughed. Don't do it again. You have your own. Whoa, don't be such a wrecker. You can take from mine. I noticed that many students are looking at us surprised. From a certain angle, you could really think that we were the best girlfriends. We're going to that place. Okay. In such a pleasant atmosphere, dinner was spent. The bell rang and we went on to next period. The periods ended and I was preparing to go home. I wanted to find out where Eva lives and go home with her, but she seemed to have disappeared somewhere. I have to go alone. Leaving the college building, I once again paid attention to the flower beds around. They were really beautiful and well groomed. Oh shit, she's got cat ears! Oh! Oh, it's a wrap! It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, look how cute she looks, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> my way home lay through the bus stop on which I met Yukino. I met her in the first period. We immediately got along very well. I also learned that she is now reading the same manga about girls, wizards, as I am. Ah, she's not reading Tokyo Ghouri! Boo! <laughs> Man, re- yo, I'm telling y'all, read the manga to Tokyo Ghouri. It's really, really good. I've been reading it on my phone through a, uh, through an app. Ah, uh, this, this isn't a, uh, <laughs> this isn't a paid sponsored or anything but uh i got manga reader on my phone hopefully y'all can see it but uh yeah that's where i read it and there's like ads in between each chapter but you know it if you're gonna read it for free you gotta go through that shit but whatever i i've been enjoying it i've really been enjoying it uh it, it, it kind of helps watching the anime uh it to me it makes it more enjoyable where I'm able to kind of see the differences with what they're doing and shit like that. So yeah, uh, but yeah, <laughs> she should probably read Tokyo Ghoulry. I'm just saying, y'all should probably read it too. Oh, Aika, do you always go through here? Now, yes. It was nice to see Eva so cheerful today. Why? I didn't understand why she said that. A couple weeks ago, she moved to our college, but no one could get along with her. It was unusual to see her today in such a good mood. Really? It's pretty strange, I thought remembering Eva. It seemed to me that she quite easily got along with others. Having said that, I remembered our first acquaintance and thought that this was not quite true. Mm -hmm, yep. <laughs> Maybe she loves you. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God damn it. Man, every time I do that laugh, it cracks me up. The bus pulled up and Yukino left. And although Yuki said it as a joke, on the way home I thought that all this was really strange. Also, the scene that we had met before, but I could not remember when and where. How are you not remembering any of this? Oh my god. Ugh. Like, apparently we're the dude from Memento. Apparently we just cannot remember anything. <laughs> when I got home, I ate again and went to read a manga. Tokyo Gori! The second half of the day was rather lazy until the evening. I was not carried away by anything except reading my favorite manga about girls wizards. Girls wizards, okay. Uh, two plurals put together. Alright, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You do you. After the onset of twilight outside the window, I became quite sleepy. I decided not to resist the natural process and went to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with me today, y'all. Yeah. Before finally falling into a dream, I thought about the fact that even I really had once been acquainted. Yesterday, I was almost late for school, so today I set the alarm earlier. Although there was nowhere to hurry, after breakfast I went straight to the college. Along the way, I wanted to see Yuki and even stayed a bit at the bus stop, but it didn't happen. Damn it! That was my only goal! <laughs> I came as one of the first in the auditorium. There was also a couple of people besides me, and Eva absorbedly reading a book. I wonder if she always comes so early. It seems like it seems that she didn't notice me enter, so I didn't dare to distract her. A little later, Yukino. Okay, I'm just calling her Yuki because then this is way more complicated. Uh, Yuki entered the room, and after her, there was a few more classmates. Wait, Yuki. Oh my God, future diary. Oh no, I'm surrounded by a bunch of yandere's. Oh my God, this isn't good. <laughs> well, it's good. It's good. It's a little bit good, but not in the long run. Oh my god. Hello, Aika. Mm-hmm. After 10 minutes, the bell rang. The lunch break was right after the mathematics test. I decided to sit down again with Eva, but she was ahead of me. I'll sit here, do you mind? Of course not. I didn't expect this. I was pleasantly surprised. It seems like it seems that she slowly warmed up to me. <laughs> she slowly warmed up. O P. <laughs> Not up. She didn't. She didn't warm up. She warmed up. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being such a dick with this game, but hey, look. E e look. If I uh, if I catch you grammatically messing up, that's bad because my grammar is really shitty. So I'm just saying. I don't know. But hey, this has been pretty enjoyable so far, so I'm not going to complain too much. Forgive me for not greeting you at once. I didn't notice you. Never mind. At that moment, I thought I should get her to become acquainted with Yukino. She was very open and friendly. We somehow got along with her at once. I grabbed Eva's hand and led her over to where Yukino was sitting. The girl looked at me in surprise and got embarrassed. Is it necessary? Necessary? Wh why did she break up her words? Okay. A couple seconds later, we were near Yukino, who was just about to taste her lunch she brought with her. She paid attention to us. Ah, uh, hello. Hi. She was again overcome by embarrassment. Come on, don't be so modest. I already, I already forgot that you can speak, ha <laughs> she said to Eva. It seems that Eva didn't appreciate this joke. There's, There was an awkward silence. Oof. Oof. I hate that. I've, I've been a part of that. I, Yeah, I've, I've been a part of that way more than I'd like to uh, admit. <clears throat> the rest of the break we spent together without uttering a word, but I still didn't regret what I had done. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure you didn't regret that? Class ended and I was about to leave the classroom when Eva suddenly stopped me. Oh, 
No, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. To my surprise, she hugged me. I definitely like this kind of hugs. Till Monday, she said sadly. Uh-huh. For some reason at that moment, I didn't think about asking her to go home together. I came to my senses only when Eva had already left the college building. At the exit, I was caught by Yukino. Since the way to the house lay by the bus stop, she firmly decided to walk with me. When we reached the bus stop, she asked me a question. Since what moment did you get along with Eva? I don't know. I really couldn't give an answer to this question. Seeing her, seeing her behavior now, I would not have thought that until I came to school, she did not belong- Wait, she did not- uh, She did not get along with anyone at all. For me, she did not seem strange or withdrawn, but rather more non-confident. So, uh, introverted. I, I, I totally get that. By the way, my birthday is on Monday. Maybe you want to come over? Wow, thanks for the invitation. I'll try to come. It'd be nice to invite Eva, too, to Yuki's birthday. The right bus drove up, we said goodbye, and I went home. After 10 minutes, I was already at home. Okay. At the weekend, I didn't do anything special. Most of the time, I spent reading manga and watching anime. Me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's totally me. Oh my god. Oh boy. A couple of times on the weekend, I walked into the part where I first met Eva in the hope of seeing her there. Alas, I failed to meet her there. Damn. Leisurely and lazily, the weekend came to an end. Alright, I'm gonna save it right here. Uh, there we go. Saved. Uh, I think this is probably a good, a good place to stop it right here. Uh... So, let, let me know if you guys want me to play this. You know what? Why am I even asking that? Y'all know I'm going to play this again. Y'all know I'm going to play this again because we got to see how this ends, right? I mean, the, the suspense is killing me. I mean, I probably would do a, a whole gameplay of this, but I want to split these up because y'all know me. I want to make everything into a series, even if it literally just takes me, like, I, man, I bet you this is, like, maybe an hour two hours, maybe three hours tops, but I just want to split this up so that, you know, there's more videos, because, you know, that's how YouTube works. You gotta make more videos so you get more subscribers, so you get more people watching you, and then that's how you get famous, and then you go to uh, Japan, you vlog, you become an asshole when you vlog there, and then you film a dead body, and then everyone knows who you are. That's the U2 success spoiler right there, baby! Yeah! So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I should probably get out of here before I embarrass myself any further. Uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, what are you doing? Subscribe. Fucking subscribe to me, alright? So, yeah, so, uh, subscribe to me. Uh, make sure you, uh, don't tap the bell. Curb stomp the bell. Alright, give that bell a blackout. Alright, I want to feel you hit that bell so that you know when I publish videos. That's for your benefit. So yeah, uh, do that. Uh, like the video if you liked whatever it is I brought to this game. Uh, comment with something, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe comment that I'm a weeb or some shit. I don't know. Look, I don't care. I am what I am. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, and yeah, guys, until next time, uh, rock out and scream. Cuckoo could chew. Bye bye. The Alpha!